What's going on everybody, Teddy Baldessar here. And I really didn't get into watches until after I graduated college. However, with the back to school season here, I wanted to go through an awesome list of watches for back to school 2018. So this list of course is gonna be around my opinion, but I wanted to pick watches that I thought catered to a younger audience, high school kids, college kids, and then also was in a price point I think was at least reasonable for that demographic. So under $150, I didn't wanna scale beyond that. I think that'd be a little bit ridiculous because I know you're not, you guys aren't swimming in cash. So I'm not gonna be pointing out any fashion oriented watches. Uh, also these online brands you might see a lot of people promoting or you might see popping up on your news feeds on social media. So like Vincero, Movement, watches of that ilk, because I don't think the quality is really there for the money. I know a lot of these watches look nice, and if that's really all you care about, whatever, go for those watches. But I want to be focusing on brands that I think have more horological significance, have some reputation with them of quality. And I think for most of these watches, I think they're also very stylish. So guys, if I forgot any, be sure to leave comments down below. But guys, let's jump into the video. So first up, we have a watch that I really love. It is the Timex Weekender. So the Timex Weekender is coming in with a $30 price point on Amazon. It might be a little bit more than that depending on where you are in the world. I heard from a lot of people that Timex is harder to find in different parts of the world, which I completely take for, took for granted uh, being in the States. But this watch is coming in with a 38 millimeter case, also powered by a quartz movement and is water resistant up to 30 meters. Important thing about Timex, uh, or important thing about water resistance, I should say, is that 30 meters is not enough to swim with. So if you wanna learn more about water resistance, what is the actual depth rating that you need, what you can do with that depth rating when it comes to water spores and to swimming, be sure to check out my video. I'll link to it down in the description below if you wanna learn more about that. Next up, we have the Timex Weekender Chronograph. So these watches are gonna be a little bit more expensive. Usually I see these on Amazon from $40 to $50. I love the blue dial version. Uh, the green dial version is also fun, but these are really clean looking watches. Uh, they come in with a case size of 40 millimeters, also powered by a coarse movement, and are water resistant up to 30 meters. Next up, we have a brand, Citizen. And we're gonna be looking at the Citizen EcoDrive BJ 6500 12L. This watch is coming in with a $90 price point with a case size of 37 millimeters, powered by a coarse movement, and is water resistant up to 100 meters. So a really versatile watch, more of a field-like watch, but I think it's a great watch to be sporting maybe in class. Um, it looks great on a lot of different wrists with that case sizing. Now we have a watch from Timex that I really enjoy. I think it answers that fashion watch type of desire from a brand that's been around since the 1800s producing watches, and that is the Timex Fairfield. The Timex Fairfield comes in with a 40 to usually $70 price point. That's where I see them circulating mostly. Their case size varies. You can find a 37 millimeter version, the 41 millimeter version. The 37 millimeter version is technically for women, I, I think, based on what I was seeing on the website. However, I think they're totally unisex. You can find these if they fit you better. Go for that. Uh, just don't pick the pink one. Uh, also, for the movement, you're looking at a quartz movement, water resistance, 30 meters. Next up, we have arguably the best affordable diver watch that you can find. That is the Casio Duro. And the Casio Duro has a price point of between $40 and $50, a case size of 44 millimeters. It is powered by a quartz movement and awesome water resistance for the price, 200 meters. So you could really do pretty much anything in the water with this thing, unless you are doing some crazy saturation diving, which I highly doubt most people in high school and college are doing anyway. Next up, we have a watch that I have featured on the channels, and that is the Guanchin GJ16034. This watch comes with a price point between $60 and $80, but I've found these going up a little bit more uh, as I continue to check them. I think people are kind of figuring out how great of value these are, and it's affecting the price point. The case size, 40 millimeters. They're powered automatically uh, through a Seiko NH36 movement and are water resistant up to 30 meters, but this is you know, a really good value that you're getting for the watch. Produced in China, but you're getting sapphire crystal, automatic Seiko movement at a really reasonable price point. So one to check out if you like it. Next up, we have the Timex Easy Reader. So the Timex Easy Reader is gonna come in with a $40 price point to a $70 price point on average. Case size is 38 millimeters, powered by a quartz movement, and is water resistant up to 30 meters. Really love this piece. I have had one in the past. A lot of different dial options to choose from, and I think it's just a really simple, classic, clean design. Next up, we have a king in this range, and that is Swatch. And the Swatch watch that we're gonna be looking at is the Swatch twice again. The price here, $50 to $75 on average. 
case size, 42.7 millimeters. I'm really exact here with these case sizes. Look at that. Movement, quartz powered, and water resistant up to 30 meters. I like the swatch twice again. Simple white dial with the contrasting black. Really looks great on a wrist. I think it's got some youthful presence to it, and I think it's a good size for most people as well. Now we have a collection of some of my favorite Seiko watches, and those are the Seiko SNK 800 series. So the SNK 803, 805, 807, and 809. These watches are usually fluctuating between $70 and $100, case size of 37 millimeters. I own the SNK 803 version uh, with the cream dial. Really love the look of that watch, but they also have a blue dial, green dial, black dial version. Uh, these watches are powered by an automatic Seiko 7S26 movement and are water resistant up to 30 meters. So now we have to, of course, mention a G-Shock. I know for a lot of people and for myself, these aren't really my style, but to not include them in this price range, I think would be um, really ridiculous on my part. And I know I would be destroyed in the comments if I didn't do so. So the Casio that we have here is the Casio DW5600. Price point for this watch is usually between 40 and $50 case size 45 millimeters but this watch does wear smaller than the case size indicates i've worn it, it actually even wears okay on my wrist that is just over 6.25 inches and then movement we're looking at a quartz movement of course with this casio g-shock and then the awesome water resistance here of 200 meters so just a moment ago we mentioned the timex fairfield now we're going to be looking at the timex fairfield chronograph if you want something a little bit more sporty style. So the price point here is 80 to $120 on average. The case size is 41 millimeters and this watch is powered by a coarse movement and has a water resistance of 30 meters. So you guys can probably tell that I love Timex and especially in this range. So we're another Timex watch here and it is the Timex Maritime. So this is a watch that was made in partnership with Todd Snyder. I am really loving this partnership between Tom, uh, Timex and Todd Snyder. I love a lot of the watches. I'm gonna be giving mention to a couple other ones in our list here. But this watch comes in a little bit over $150, but I wanted to include it in here because I think it's really stylish, really cool looking watch. Case size with 41 millimeters, powered by a coarse movement, and is water resistant up to 30 meters. I think that's the one pain point of this watch is the fact that it's only water resistant up to 30 meters. It's kind of a tease because it looks like a watch that you could jump in the water with, but unfortunately you can't, but a really great looking watch that I would definitely recommend to check out. Next up we have the Seiko Sea Urchin. So this is a watch that I think is a really versatile piece that you can jump in the water with. Uh, also is a great cheaper substitute to the Seiko SKX. Of course, not quite the same water resistance, but a really cool looking kind of diver inspired sports watch from Seiko at a really reasonable price point. The price point, 120 to $150 on average. Case size is 42 millimeters and the movement is an automatic Seiko 7S26 movement. It also has water resistant up to 100 meters. So most of the water activities that you can do, you can handle with this watch on your wrist. Now we have a watch that I think gets an unbelievable amount of love and rightfully so, that is the Orient Bambino. So depending on your style, if you are more of a preppy guy or someone who likes to get dressed up a little bit more, this would probably be the watch for you in high school or college. Although you can dress this watch down a pretty good amount. Price point here, we're looking at $120 to $150. There's a lot of different generations and versions of this watch, but I have owned several of those generations in the past, and I can speak to just the quality of all of them. They're just little minute things that change between the generations, um, but I think these are great watches, really stylish looking. You get a lot of different feels within the range of the Orient Bambino series. So the case sizes for these are 40.5 millimeters, so a little bit large for a dress-oriented piece, but for most people, I think that's okay. For the movement, we're looking at an automatic Orient F6724 and are water-resistant up to 30 meters. One thing to check out for, if you do want to change out the straps on this piece, know that the lugged width distance is 21 millimeters, so a little bit annoying there for in terms of straps, but still a great watch. Next up, we have the Timex Expedition Scout Midsize. So this watch is coming in between 60 and $80 on average. Really love just kind of the sporty, but also kind of everyday type look of this watch. It comes in with a 36 millimeter case. Movement is a quartz movement and it is water resistant up to 50 meters. So you can jump in the water with this. Really good, versatile watch. And I think it has a really clean design. So next up, we have a brand that I know gets a lot of love. I'm actually gonna be reviewing two pieces from this brand. The brand is of course Vostok. And if you do wanna to enter to win that watch, feel free to fill out the form down below. If you've entered to win previous giveaways on our channel because we do one every single month, 
You don't need to sign up again, but it will be down there in the description. But that is the Vostok Amphibia. So for the Vostok Amphibia, this watch is usually ranging between $30 and $80, depending on the version that you can get. Um, these watches really aren't my style whatsoever, but I wanted to include them in here because they are pretty fun. I have heard a lot of people just, you know, customizing them, modding them, you know, really messing around with the movement in the back and, you know, getting some crazy accuracy from these pieces. Uh, so I wanted to mention them here and they're, you know, affordable divers. Case size, 40 millimeters, movement is automatic, Vostok 2416B movement, and they're water resistant up to 200 meters, which is nothing to scoff at considering this watch's price point. So if I had to mention my favorite diver watch in this list here today, I think this would be the one. And the watch that I'm referring to is the Orient Ray 2. So these watches are retailing right at about $150, depending on what version you go for. But they come in with a case size of 41 millimeters of movement of an automatic Orient F69 and are water resistant up to 200 meters. I think these are really some of the cleanest looking divers that you can find, not only in this price range, but I think all the way up to one to $2,000. I think these are really good looking pieces and Orient with their in-house movements create some great watches, both in their design and also with their functionality and reliability. Now we have a couple heritage watches from Timex that I wanna look at. Really love what Timex has been doing with bringing back a lot of their old vintage designs and I love these right here. So the first one we're gonna be looking at is the Timex Waterbury United. This watch comes in with a $120 price point, a case size of 38 millimeters, and is powered by a quartz movement. Also with a water resistance of 50 meters, a really cool kind of military inspired watch that I think is a great everyday piece that you can jump in the water with, but will look really clean when you're in class. Now out of any of the Timex watches that I've mentioned, this one has the most water resistance and is probably the diver watch uh, representation of the Timex brand. And that is the Timex Navy Harbor 38 millimeters. A lot of things I like about this watch. Amazing looking design, love the look of this watch. Also coming in with a 38 millimeter option. I think that's fantastic, I love it. Um, this watch is coming in with a $135 price point. Again, case size of 38 millimeters. Of course, it's powered by a quartz movement like most Timexes in this range. Oh, gosh, I wish Timex would just throw in some mechanical movements in here sometimes. I think they could dominate this range if they did so. And then the water resistance of 100 meters like I alluded to just a moment ago. Also here, you can go for the Navy Ocean, uh, a different diver type option from Timex here. Very heritage looking design and another great piece as an alternative that falls right around that $150 price point. Now we have the Timex Mod Watch. So this is a reissue, again, a partnership with Todd Snyder. Todd Snyder, you're doing a killer job, man. I love what you've been doing with Timex and also PF Flyers and a lot of great American uh, style brands. Keep doing what you're doing. So this watch is coming in with a $138 price point, case size of 40 millimeters, powered by a quartz movement and is water resistant up to 50 meters. Really cool looking watch, unique looking watch with its kind of bullseye like dial. And it really does scream uh, that, you know, 60s, 70s era in which this was sporting a lot of people's wrists. So really cool time for Timex and really cool for them to be bringing it back here. And you can be wearing on your wrist in class in 2018. And then finally, we are gonna be looking at the Swatch System 51. So this watch comes in right at the top point of our price point, which is $150 but a really awesome watch. Although a lot of their styles are not really for me, they are pretty fun. So if you are like a younger guy, I think definitely these are ones to take a look at. Case size, 42 millimeters. Movement is an automatic movement as well. Really interesting. If you wanna learn more about the System 51, I, I definitely would recommend checking out more information about it. This is a really cool watch and very revolutionary in its engineering. Also water resistant up to 30 meters. So Swatch, of course, is a brand that is really a king in this range, or at least one of the kings. And to mention them, it would be an absolute must, and I wanted to do so, especially this System 51 here. So guys, that was like 25 watches or so. So I you know, went through a lot, and went through it pretty quick, but would love to hear comments down below. Any other watches that you would mention here? I wanted to mention brands that I think have some prestige or behind them, or at least are, you know, build quality pieces for this price range. And I think they're great stylish options for you guys. Uh, that are going back to school. And I'm so happy I don't have to go back to school. So all the power to you guys, do well at school. Uh, but love to see comments down below about you know what watches I forgot and what you would recommend in this price range for people going back to school. So guys, if you like this video, if it was helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. If you've not subscribed yet, subscribe. Also hit the bell icon if you have not subscribed yet or have subscribed and have not done that yet. That's the best way to help out the channel so you know when I release content for the future. And then finally, go ahead and check out my Instagram if you wanna stay informed about upcoming watch giveaways. 
I'll have the link to actually take part in the giveaways in the description down below. But if you actually wanna see me make the announcements and kind of stay up to date with what's going on with the giveaways, be sure to go follow me on Instagram so you can stay updated. And finally, check out our Patreon. By supporting us on Patreon, you're supporting this community that we've created, trying to foster up a new generation of watch lovers and making videos like this, you know, talking about people that are going back to school and trying to give them recommendations of quality watch brands um, for the price point that probably they can afford. You know, this is really cool for me because I really feel like, you know, a, a thing that it might be dying, a, a, a passion I have, watches, that I think so many people have seen as maybe being antiquated, I think is getting a bit of a resurgence. And I would love to be of any service in trying to really bring forth a, a new passion for a lot of people when it comes to watches. And it's been a real treat for me to create this, uh, these con this content. So if you guys do want to do support this channel, support this community that we've created, go check us out on Patreon. Any support would be greatly appreciated. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.